I'm Eric Finman. I invested in, uh, uh, not, I guess, not not just cryptocurrencies, but investor in companies and startups. Um, and one of those companies um, was one that I started, um, which was the uh, the Freedom Phone. I created my own phone. We launched it. We did three and a half million dollars in sales that first week. And that's about where the, the, the glorious story ends because um, PayPal um, and other payment processors, they ended up uh, uh, not just freezing um, that money for what was almost a year. So we didn't even see a single penny from customers. Customers um, said, hey, I want that phone. And me as the merchant at the time said, hey, I want to give you this phone for X amount of dollars. And PayPal said, uh-uh, we're not, we're, we're we're, you have to ask us too, and we don't agree with that. Of that first three and a half million that came in that first seven days, 1.2 million came through PayPal, um, of which PayPal forcibly refunded without the customer or us, the merchant's permission, $800,000. Um, and then didn't notify the customers that they were refunded. So they thought that they bought a phone, um, but they didn't. And then they kept about $450,000 of that remaining. So it was about 1.25 you know, million um, dollars. So 800,000 forcibly refunded, $450,000 um, just held for what was almost a year. Um, their terms of service said that they can only hold it for six months. Um, uh, they, they lied. Um, also in their terms of service, it says when they hold your money, they can collect interest on your money. So they are making money by not giving you your money to ship a product to someone that wanted wanted to give you money for. And it's not it's not a bug, it's a feature. I mean, this is a big fat cash cow. And PayPal was just one of them. They just hide behind automated emails. They just reference some weird section 0.33 that and then you just read the section. Um, like the first section I got was just you know, we can do whatever we want. I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's literally, that's literally what the section basically meant. Do you know how tough that was for them? They just, they scroll, click, and my life's ruined for a year. That's, that, that is, that is what happened. I mean, like three and a half million dollars, uh, you know, not seeing a single penny of that for what felt like eternity. Um, you know, you're basically three and a half million dollars in debt instantly. So when I saw the money come in, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I made, you know, I made it. This is great company. Um, this is an American success story. So, I mean, yeah, I was in the fetal position at the time. I was praying, you know, worst experience of my life ever period. Um, and, and then also, you know, you, you the customers like this, like slowed us down in shipping phones. Cause I had to go find money. I had to go liquidate Bitcoin and assets to be able to ship phones. And I and I just, you know, I, I look at, would any other company be able to ship a phone, ship it, you know, tons and tons of phones without receiving a single penny? You know, it also forces you into like business decisions. You did, just a million business decisions you would not make. I don't think it was ever as good as it was gonna be. But, you know, in my opinion, I think we would have done $10 million in sales by the end of the month. We did 5 million, I think in total, throughout all that period of time. I firmly believe Freedom Phone could have been the next Apple. I sold that company. I don't own the company anymore, but now I'm suing um, these payment processors altogether, um, PayPal, Amazon, Shopify for a hundred million dollars. I knew that these payment processors wouldn't do anything. And this lawsuit's gonna take a long time. The goal is not just to win a hundred million in damages. The goal is to get them to change their terms of service. Um, they do this, you Google it, they just countless conservative companies get screwed over by these payment processors and not just conservative companies, you know, individuals, like I said earlier, individuals that just get their money frozen for, you know, it's like, well, you know, you're $1 above something and some metric they have internally that they don't tell you. And then, you know, we're holding your money for four weeks. So, I mean, this was my baby, you know, I believe in this so much. I'm going to take the risk of that goal and that dream of being the next Apple that died when they froze the money. And that was their intent from the beginning.